Hello, I am Tanner Lazarus, a sophomore at the University of Arkansas and a biochemistry major, and I'm doing my report on the J. William Fulbright statue, which is on campus at the University of Arkansas. The Fulbright statue is located in a central part of campus outside of Old Main. The statue, raised on a pedestal, faces towards a small garden and the Fulbright Peace Fountain. Greta Bader was the creator of this iconic statue. After graduating from college, she went to the Academy of Fine Arts in Munich in 1953. She also married her husband in 1953, who was a former Fulbright scholar and later worked on Fulbright's staff. This relationship between her husband and Fulbright likely inspired her to create the statue. Bader spent her early artistic career interested in abstract art, but would become famous for sculpture. She would become well known for capturing the emotions and characteristics of people in her sculptures. This is especially true for the Fulbright statue. The statue was finally brought to the university and dedicated on October 21, 2002. The ceremony was meant to honor J. William Fulbright. A former president of the university and a former senator, Fulbright firmly believed in the ability of education to promote peace. He created the Fulbright Scholar Program in 1946, which allowed students and professors from all over the world to come study at the University of Arkansas. The first impression from the statue is a sense of openness and a lack of formality. Placed in front of Old Main, the statue almost appears to welcome students into the building. The Fulbright statue has a relaxed contrapposto stance with one foot slightly ahead of the other. With his shoulders slouched and hands inside of his pockets, Fulbright appears to be relaxed and conveys a very open tone. The ruffled clothes and warm gaze give the figure a feeling of openness and intensity, as was the artist's intention. Fulbright's statue is cast out of bronze and placed on a pedestal with a small garden in front. The piece is realistic, with a believably proportioned body and clothing. The lines on Fulbright's face clearly show his older age and give him an almost grandfatherly appearance. The body language of the statue reinforces the motif of Fulbright being a mentor. The statue is meant to be a biographical representation of Fulbright's time at the university. The themes of openness found in the statue characterized his interactions with students and staff. By making the statue over seven feet tall and placing it on a large pedestal, the artist emphasized Fulbright's importance. The placement of the statue is also symbolic. Old Main is the oldest building on campus and one of the most recognizable symbols of the university. By placing Fulbright near this historic building, the artist implies that Fulbright is equally important. Greta Bader created the sculpture in a contemporary, realistic style and likely drew inspiration from Roman sculptures and statues. The bronze statue of J. William Fulbright shows him how he was in life with wrinkled skin and normal clothes. He is not idealized or unrealistically proportioned. Although the statue is much larger than Fulbright was, it is still realistically proportioned and represents him well. Like many Greek and Roman statues, the Fulbright statue was first modeled out of clay and then cast in bronze. Bader attempted to make the statue as lifelike as possible and studied hundreds of pictures of Fulbright. She likely drew inspiration for this realistic style from Roman statues. More modern examples of this can be found in Washington, D.C. The Vietnam veteran statue has a similar design, although the tone it presents is different. The ruffled clothes, offset stance, and varied facial expressions are similar to the Fulbright statue. The Lincoln Memorial is perhaps a more similar example, as Lincoln's ruffled suit is very similar to Fulbright's. I chose to examine and review the J. William Fulbright statue because of its importance to the University of Arkansas. The statue itself is an icon of the university and represents the influence of one of its most important members. I particularly enjoy the realistic and lifelike style of the statue. The symbolic representations of Fulbright's importance, such as his increased size and placement on a pedestal, are subtle and do not detract from the actual statue. The piece is also impressive for its size and the technical skill required to create it. Standing at over seven feet tall, the Fulbright statue is a large and easily seen